do. Hello and welcome to Halo Drop Pod. This is the You Had Me at Halo team's first look series of videos where we talk about all of the newest Halo updates, all of the hottest Halo topics, when we just can't wait to talk about them on the podcast itself. I am your host, Austin Forbear Ford. Today, for our first guest, who else should we have other than the host with the most? The incomparable, the the hilarious, the lovable Abe, a.k.a. One Bad Mother. Abe, how are you doing I, today, my man? I am awesome, awesome Austin. <laughs> and you, you know, man, you don't need to butter me up like that. If you're going to try to butter somebody up to, you know, to do some other things here at Xbox Era, that's probably John and Nick. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I, I appreciate it. Uh, it's just practice mama. for when we do eventually get John or Nick on the show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, okay, that makes more sense now. But either way, I think my mama would have been proud. So yeah, please clip that so I can uh, send that to her. Oh, I'll send it to her myself, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so Abe, we're here because, uh, you know, just as the first episode for Drop Pod, I figure we owe it to our audience to drop just a little bit of, of what to expect from this kind of thing. I know I said it in the intro, but really, this is our chance to take a first look at a lot of the game updates coming to Halo, whether it be Halo Infinite, Master Chief Collection, Halo Wars 2 maybe, if that ever happens, uh, mm -hmm. or or just to talk about some really cool topics that maybe we didn't get enough time to talk about on the podcast, or are things that maybe just wouldn't fit into a regular episode. So uh, today we're going to talk about the newest Master Chief Collection update. Of course, this massive update brings a ton of new features. It is the newest update since the release of Season 8 Mythic, just a, you know, a few months ago, 343 had said back in November that they weren't going to be doing the seasonal cadence anymore. And so this is our first look at an update from the Master Chief Collection that isn't on that, you know, seasonal cadence. That is just weirdly a shadow drop. Like they teased it a couple of days before and then they just dropped it out of nowhere. Um, very kind of high level. And then we'll kind of get into the details. Uh, I know, I know uh, it wasn't too difficult to get you to play it, but I'd love to know what you kind of thought of it overall. It was a good time. You know, I, you know, don't regret the time I spent downloading it. I think we had a lot of fun. So, you know, from a high level, yeah, this was really cool. I think one of the things that really stood out the most, though, uh, you know, before we even get into the details, was just how far the Master Chief Collection has come. Uh, I totally. Think it, it wasn't really something I put much thought into, but I just remember this game when it launched and rough uh, man try not to, i try not to remember i remember i took like. i took a i took two weeks off of work like i took two weeks no joke off of work for the master chief collection release <clears throat> and within three days i was calling asking for shifts like i it was totally unplayable it was a, a dumpster fire of a game and i hate i hate to rag on it so hard now so many years removed you know 343 has earned a lot of goodwill with master chief collection players just because of you know like like you said like the amazing shape that the game is in these days but 100% what what a floating turd uh, but yeah it's it's totally come a, a tremendous way since then it, and that's the thing that stands out like it's not just that they fixed it it's that they just kept going and yeah. going and like, like an update that, like you know, this, especially outside of like their promised uh, seasonal cadence when they started bringing the games to PC, like yeah. totally, totally just like features that the community has asked for, not not anything that they ever promised. Stuff that they were like, yeah, it'd be cool if we could do something like this, or or yeah, right. maybe one day we'll we'll update the game again and and you'll get a couple of new little things. Uh, you know, this this update saw neat little things like. Some, uh, multiplayer customization for weapon skins coming into campaign for Halo 4. I know, Abe, you were begging for your BR skin to be on Chief's back there during the campaign. Yeah, I don't really care. About that, so, you know, I, I'm like the I'm like the least. I, I probably care the least about cosmetics of everybody that's part of our team. But I, you know, uh, but you, you bring up some some you know you, you touch on these details and and yeah, you're right. This is these aren't the type of details that you would think of that are going to make or break the, the, the population right? right it's not something that you know people are screaming at 343 about i mean we know people are screaming at, like the scream at 343 but these are going to be way down the list 
<laughs> how dare you? How dare you publish a cookbook and not fix Halo Infinite? <laughs> uh, you know, you know, we would have had three maps uh, for season two if it weren't for that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, and, and you know, so like yeah, we started off with the the crossplay and and uh, for the the campaign, which is something that you know apparently I didn't really know because I wasn't trying to crossplay with PC players. But you know, it's cool to see that they they've added that touch in. Uh, and I will say that my experience, you know, as a somebody who wasn't the host was better than the last time I tried cross play with somebody on console. And I don't know if that's a coincidence. Yeah. I mean, it, I it does seem, it does seem like a net code improvement kind of across the board, right? Like I, I, unfortunately Halo 1 and Halo 2 are still kind of touchy. It wasn't something that you and I could obviously test out. The, uh, the campaign cross play right now is only for Halo 3 and ODST. They said that they were kind of trying to, you know, stress test it a little bit, throw it out in the wild so that people can really get their hands on it, see if they can't break that, that netcode pairing between the two different methods of play between console and PC. But very, very cool stuff, man. Like, it mm -hmm. it was crazy how, how smooth it was. You know, you said that your experience off-host was really good. Mine on, uh, sorry, also off-host, we we'd switched back and forth. We That's played right. Sierra 117 with me hosting and then the Warthog run with you hosting. And... I drove the Warthog for the Warthog run. The only, like, the only problem that I saw was incredibly negligible input latency, and that was that was it. Like, otherwise, it felt amazing. I'm I'm super proud of the team for being able to get campaign crossplay working. It's something that I've been asking for for a long time. Being, you know, one of the only members at Xbox era that doesn't own an Xbox at the moment, it's super right. cool to be able to go through some of my favorite, you know, single player campaigns with you know single player uh campaigns with uh, with other people who also love them on console i thought i thought it felt amazing yeah no and and, and you know the thing that's it's kind of, a couple of things were kind of standing out to me as we're playing because you know we we're going through the campaign and a lot of it was just kind of stress testing it and you know trying to fuse different skulls and you know a, a couple of things are coming to mind number one was like hey is this like a stress test is this like a testing bed now for infinite right like is yeah it's gonna be their their they're pre like yeah, hey let's see how we can add stuff to the game and how it does it you know is it gonna work and uh, I, I was wondering about that because we don't know what co ops gonna be like yet for for infinite but the other thing was just kind of seeing the skulls right like the creativity that you could do with that and 100 percent yeah and, 18 new skulls across halo 2 3 and yeah. odst halo 3 obviously got the majority of that halo 2 only got acrophobia uh and then odst got all of the same skulls that halo 3 got minus uh, one of the skulls for flood combatants, which makes sense. There are no flood combatants in ODST's campaign. Right. But yeah, like a ton of really, really cool content added to a set, you know, a 15 year old game in Halo right. 3 and even older in Halo 2. And it's really cool to see that stuff updated. You know, I think the experimental part of it was a few months back when they added the acrophobia to Halo 3, which is the skull that we thought we broke the game using. Uh, Abe and I both like jumped right when the level started and hit crouch just out of habit. And we like got stuck in midair. We we're like, what? what's going on? Did we break it? Is it not working? Uh, but no, just a feature of the acrophobia skull. You can hover right. in place. Um, but yeah, for them actually, to come to it actually an... wasn't a bug. It actually was a feature. Right, right. <laughs> well, you know, that's what we all say, right? <laughs> right. No, it's it's intended, totally intended. Uh, but yeah, I think I think you know all of these new skulls. They're doing a lot of fun stuff with experimenting in the MCC, and we've seen a lot of you know a lot of the features that they've introduced over the last three years in the MCC are kind of are like spiritually anyway present in infinite mm -hmm. in in really interesting ways you know the the battle pass progression we all you know there was no way that wasn't going to happen in infinite but it was cool to see them kind of test bed it with uh mm -hmm. with the mcc i think i think the the most exciting thing that they've done for this update and obviously if you're listening and you've checked it out for yourself you're like shaking your phone or your monitor and you're saying like why haven't you talked about flood fight yet which is flood firefight like Flood Firefight for ODST. Abe and I played uh, a couple of rounds of it on uh, Lost Platoon and then Crater. Really cool stuff. They added new boons, uh, a new boons feature, which gives you weapons that have never been in ODST before, or at least not in Firefight, with the assault rifle and the battle rifle. Uh, they, It's all flood combatants. They added some new bipeds, which was the elite with the red armor and the energy shield and they can all drive vehicles and absolutely crushed Abe and I a couple of times. New, new, you know, AI controlled allies. 
completely changes the way Firefight operates. Yeah, and, and you know, Austin, I'll let you kind of elaborate on some of those things because, you know, I did, haven't played uh, a lot of Firefight in, you know, in this game. But, you know, you're mentioning to me, like, how them getting into the vehicles is something new. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, they, so they just, they, because that's a big change, right? Like, the fact that they can now get in there and do that and they weren't able to before. Yeah, so uh, the, the flood, the flood, you know, it was a feature in Halo 2, right? Like, one of the first times you encounter the flood, it's they're driving a warthog at you and they're like machine gunning at you. It, it was just never a feature in Halo 3. There aren't really a lot of levels where the flood are, you know, a combatant where there are vehicles. Uh, right. So it, you know, I, I think it was an intended feature for Halo 3. Obviously, just never happened when it was, you know, Bungie's title. But now right. with ODST coming around, they added like all all new animations to the flood, so that any flood can drive, or it seems like any flood. It may just be human flood are driving warthogs, and then elite flood are driving the ghosts. But like warthogs, ghosts, like you name it, they're they're totally cruising around. When you die as an ODST because you're a human character, the flood will infect your body and now there's an ODST flood running around. Super, super cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and you had the support, right? You had the support troops get dropped in to help you out. And overall, I, I would say that it was it was a lot of fun. You know, I, I jumped in here, you know, because you asked me to. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it, it was nice because, you know, we spent, you know, spent some time and we were just... It, it, just got into his own shooting flood and uh you know doing the firefight and i do it you know what it, it, it did bring back some things that it's like okay we need to bring some of these things back to to the you know, absolutely the new halo, right halo infinite you know i like the endless fire the endless uh waves that you the know, like horde mode just, stuff totally yeah you know it's not like that wasn't five where you know you had a, a certain amount of waves and you're done you, and you beat it right. uh this just kept going and it and it just it, it, it's somewhat therapeutic. It's it's you know, and it, it, it just seems like it's it's a really nice uh, social experience. Uh, you can make it intense if you want. Put it on hard. Once we put it on more difficult, it got hard quickly. Yeah. Right? But if but you know, you can set it down lower and just kind of like just screw around and have fun in it. So yeah, it was a pleasant surprise. Um, and uh, it's definitely something that you know, if I had a few friends that were like, hey, you want to jump on this? It's something I would do again. And uh, you know nice to see something like that happen to a game that's you know seven and a half years old or a package that's seven and a half years old for right. a game that's actually much older what is what was uh odst, ODST was, was 2009 so it's it's going on 13 yeah. years old 13 years and you're getting new stuff in this game that, that's awesome and that is that is uh you know, you start connecting the dots to infinite, which is hard. Yeah, yeah. To I think I think it's totally worth, you know, at least briefly mentioning Abe. Like, we know co-op is coming. We know that there's more stuff coming in the future. We know this season isn't going to be six months long, or at least we hope, you know, they haven't given us a definitive end yeah. date for it yet. I think that this does a great job of setting a precedence and, you know, hopefully setting up the, the expectation that PvE style content is coming. There's all of these rumors and stuff about what might be coming, what is coming, what we know is coming. Uh, I think I think Infinite can learn a lot from MCC and especially updates like this. And mm. I, I definitely, I definitely think that we're going to start seeing some of that reflected here before too long. Yeah, if, if any game ever deserved to be dead, it was MCC with the way it launched. And uh, to see where it's at, man, uh, that was really cool. To see the whole package where it's at, kind of taking that all in. You know, with custom browsers and you know all, all this other stuff that uh, um, you know, all these different modes that are available and and, and and you know new stuff still coming through. It's pretty awesome. So absolutely, but yeah. I so think yeah, overall, I think the last thing to to mention for for people listening that haven't checked it out, haven't read the blog post, is if you're looking for custom games browser options. Never fear, every game in the MCC is now in the custom games browser, so you can go and search through Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 3, Reach 4, uh, all of that stuff. So go get after yeah. it, guys. Thank you so much, Abe, for joining me for the first episode of Drop Pod. Where can people find you online? They can definitely find us on You Had Me at Halo every, well, at least every other week. But right now we're going every week with our Halo spoiler cast. Yes, sir. So catch us on Friday at 7 Eastern. And other than that, uh, you know, we'll be putting out some more content with Xbox Era soon. But uh, thanks again, you know, Austin. It was great to be your first guess on that <laughs> of course I, I i could not have imagined it any other way abe 
everyone listening, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Of course, you can always check us out wherever you listen to podcasts. Check out You Had Me at Halo. Check out the Xbox Era podcast. Uh, we just had a very cool interview with Ed Freeze. Definitely want to go listen to that. There's some great info in there. Go check it out. John and Nick do a great job of hosting that with him. Uh, make sure you go check us out on Patreon even. Patreon.com slash the Xbox Era. There's some amazing content on there. And that is definitely the best way to support us. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews, previews, news, and of course, Halo content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Y'all be safe and have fun.